Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, you will learn to send WhatsApp messages to your leads on receiving a form submission automatically. So guys, here we have taken the example of Gravity Forms plugin of WordPress to create a form to generate leads for your business. Okay. And as and when you generate a lead, a WhatsApp message is going to be delivered automatically. Let me show you how. So guys, this will be the flow of this automation here. As and when any of your lead is going to fill your form that you have created with the help of Gravity Forms plugin of WordPress. And in place of this, you can use any other form building application as well, like Google Forms, Type Form, Jot Form, etc. All right. And as and when you got a lead generated via this form, a WhatsApp message will be delivered to that same lead automatically without any manual efforts. This means you don't have to manually sort out the contact details or the WhatsApp number of your lead and you don't have to manually compile these messages. This is going to happen automatically and to make this happen, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part is anyone can set up this automation without any coding skills or programming knowledge. So now let me show you how can I also set up this automation. So to set up this automation, first of all, you need to reach here on the dashboard of Pavli Connect application and to reach here, you have to use this link pavli.com slash connect. And from here, by clicking on the sign up free button, you can set up your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes and you will get 100 free automation tasks for every new month. So sign up right now and then log in to reach here. And on this page, you have to create a workflow of automation to do that. Just click here on this create workflow button. And here you can give any suitable or relevant name to this workflow. So I'm giving the name here as gravity forms to WhatsApp messages. All right. And after giving the name like this, you just have to click on this create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here. And on this page, you will see the trigger and the action first. So guys, automations work on these two things. Trigger is the happening of any event which is going to trigger so or start this workflow or uh, uh, the trigger event will let this workflow know that it is time to run. Okay. so action would be the response towards the trigger as in this use case the trigger would be a new submission you are going to receive via gravity forms and the action towards this trigger would be to send the whatsapp message to the lead who has filled this form so first of all you need to set up the trigger so from this choose app field you have to choose your trigger application first which is a gravity forms in our case select it all right, and in the trigger event, you have to select this new response option, right? And you can see we got this URL. This is called as a web hook URL, guys. And with the help of this, we are going to make a connection with this uh, WordPress plugin. And after that, we are going to fetch some data out from that form, okay, via filling the form. Let me show you how. So to make the connections, you can uh, read the instructions. We need to go to the form settings and under the webhooks tab, you will we'll find this button where we have to paste this link. Okay, This is the process. Let me show you how we are going to do this. So guys, you can see this is my forms page that I have created with the help of gravity form. All right. Gravity form plugin, right? So this is the back end of this page. You can see and I can edit this page from here. So I'm clicking on this edit this form button and I'll reach the editor of gravity plugin. This is it. Here you can see the settings uh, tab here and this is the form settings option. Click on form settings. All right. So on this page in the form settings, you will find this web hooks option on the left hand side panel like this. Click on it. And here uh, we have this button. You can see add new under this web hooks feeds. You will see this add new button. Click on add new. All right. And this page will open up here. You can give a name to this web hook connection. So I'm giving the name here as to WhatsApp. Let's see, right. And in the request URL field, you have to copy and paste this URL. Just click on copy here. All right, and here you have to paste it. 
here in the request URL field paste it like this all right and let the request method as post and the format as JSON all right and leave all these things as it is just click on save settings all right so you can see settings are updated we have added a connection here with the help of this webhook URL and you can see as I have copied this co uh, button uh, I as I have copied this URL it, it started showing this waiting for the webhooks response so this means guys now now we have to perform a test submission so the test submission would be equals to this trigger event that means we have to capture a new response via filling the form that we have created okay so we are going to use any demo details and we are going to capture the data here and with the help of that test data we are going to set up this automation further right so let me open my form actually so guys this is a form i have created you can see uh, this is a kind of contact form to generate leads and here we, we have written that please fill out this form to get the latest updates of our company okay so here i'm going to fill this form and we are going to see if the data is ca captured here or not so guys you can see i have filled the details of any uh, person as this name is nitin adani this is the email this is the whatsapp number okay and i'm clicking on submit here and you can see the form is getting submitted all right here you can see the form is submitted now let's check in our workflow if we got the data of our form submission and you can see in this response received section we got the form submissions data as this okay the name is at nitin adani the email id and the phone number whatsapp number is here so that's how we can capture the test data from gravity forms and now what we want we want to send this person a message on this whatsapp number okay for that to happen you 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 need to use this action step and from here you have to choose the action application as whatsapp's cloud api this one so guys whatsapp's cloud api is the official business cloud api launched by facebook for whatsapp uh, to connect businesses on whatsapp so to set up your cloud api you need to see the videos that we have pasted in the description from where you can learn how to set up your cloud API setup for connecting WhatsApp. All right. After that, after setting up your cloud API, you can use this here in the action step. All right. And the action event would be send template message. Then click on connect. And from here, if you're making the connection with your cloud API setup for the first time, you have to choose this add new connection option. And then it will ask for the token key of uh, cloud api the phone number id and the business whatsapp's business account id okay so guys to find these three things and uh, to fill it here to make the connection you you just have to click here so guys to find these three things you just have to click you can click here in this here text here word and you will reach this forum page of pavli forum.pavli.com and here on this page you will find these two videos also for setting up your whatsapp cloud api and how to generate the permanent access token for your api setup and then you can follow these steps and instructions written here clearly with screenshots related to all the things uh, of your cloud api okay and you will get to know where you will find these three things so for this phone number id and whatsapp account id i can show you uh, guys this is my cloud api setup i am under meta for developers page and here i have created this application my connect message app and under this i have set up my whatsapp's cloud api and here i have clicked on this whatsapp's getting started page and under the getting started page you will see the temporary access token okay so first they gave you temporary access tokens but they expire in 24 hours so you need to generate a permanent one okay so you can check the link that we have pasted in which we have clearly explained and from this forum page on how to generate your permanent access token we have a video a full video on that here it is okay right so after that you will find the token now you have to keep that token safe because we are going to use the same token to make the connections again okay so uh, generating the temp uh, generating the permanent access token is a one time task after that you don't have to generate it again and uh, here you can see from this step send and receive messages we have this phone number id 
So you can copy this ID from here, paste it here in your workflow like this. And the other thing, the business account ID is here all here you can see, just copy it and paste it here like this. All right. And the permanent access token that you got, you have to paste it here and then click on save and you'll be connected with cloud API. So guys like generating the permanent access token, making the connection by this process by selecting add new connection option is also a one time process. Okay. So once you make the connection by this process, next time, if you want to make the connection again, you can use the existing connection, the already connection that you have made for that. You just have to select this existing connection option and then you can select your existing connection from this connections list. So as you can see, I have already connected many times with cloud API, so I can use any of these, these existing connections. So I'm using this one cloud API final one. All right. And now I just have to click on save and you can see we'll be connected with cloud API again like this. All right. So we are done making the connection and now it is asking for the templates name. So guys to send messages on WhatsApp directly, we need to create some message templates first. Let me show you what are these. So here on this uh, meta for developers page, when you scroll down a bit more, you will find this, this step send messages with the API and here it is written to create your own message template. Click here. So click on this here word and you will reach template section of uh, cloud API setup. And these are the templates I have created, uh, for sending messages. So guys, let me show you one message templates are nothing but the predefined message structures, which you can use to send messages on WhatsApp to multiple people at once. All right. So you have to create such standard message templates here first. And here you can see this is a kind of template I have created named, uh, named as contact underscore lead. And you can see the preview of this message also. So on WhatsApp, this message will look like this. Hi, Roger Binney. I'm writing to thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak to you on this date and time. So this is a kind of message for meeting with the client. All right. And here you can see in the, uh, let me first show you uh, the body of this message. Okay. So here you can have a header of uh, header of the message in the template. You can have the main body of the message. You can have a footer and the call to action button also. And in the main body, you can see we have this one in double curly braces, two, three, four. Okay. So what are these? These are called variables or the body fields of the message. All right. So these are the things which are going to change with every new message dynamically and automatically. All right. So you have to put these variable tags inside your message body in correct places. Let me show you how you can create one for yourself. Here you can see we have this create message template button. You just have to click on it. And here you will see these three categories in which you can create message templates, the transactional category, the marketing category, and the one time password category. So let me select marketing. After that, you didn't have, you have to give a name to this template. You have to select the language in which you want to send the message. All right. And after that, click on continue from here. And on this page, you need to add a header to this message. Just click on header and you can enter a text in the header or media. And in media, you can add an image, a video or a document here in the body box. You have to type the main body that you want to send. Let me show you like this. All right. And if you want to add variables in this body, just click here on this add variable button and a tag will be added here like this. Okay. So you have to put these tags in variable in uh, specific places strategically. Okay. And you can add a footer, a button, and you can also check the preview of your messages like this. All right. So after creating your message template, you just have to click on submit and submit your template right now. I'm canceling this. So after getting your message template submitted, Facebook will review that template and approve it in just few minutes. And after that, you can use it. So to use it, you have to select the template here in your workflow. So let me select my template that I have created for this purpose. And the name of that template is a reply to lead. Let me show you. So guys, this is the message template I have created reply underscore to underscore lead. Let me open this for you. And here you can see I have this uh, two variables here in this message template. 
one and two okay you can preview this also this is a message that we want to send to our leads right so let me select this template from this list name of which is reply to lead okay select this and you can see the language code and the id got auto populated now it is asking for the recipient's mobile number or the whatsapp number to whom you want to send this message so guys we got the whatsapp number details here in this first step in the test data now i'm going to use this label that i have received here to map the number here so to map the number just click here and it will show you this gravity form step in the drop down and when you click here it will show you all the data that you have received in the first step here only okay so from here just map this mobile number or the whatsapp number label so guys when you map the data like this when you map the phone number what will happen whenever this workflow is going to run this means whenever you are going to receive a form submission after setting up this automation these labels are going to change and a new message will be delivered to the new number okay that's why it is necessary to map the detail here and now it is asking for the body fields or the variables that we have here in our message template okay i have already shown you that we have two variables here one is here after hello and in the last there is two so guys these to get these variables changed like this in a new message we need to map the values of these variables or body fields here in our workflow okay so to map the values just click here and from this test data i am going to map the name of the person first and in the second body field let's check what should be there on the second body field okay so in the second body field we can enter the name of our business or a firm so we can enter it manually okay so uh, because that is going to change with every uh, that is not going to change with every new message it will be the same so here i am putting just um, pably only okay you can enter your business's name right now you can check your connection also by uh, or with whatsapp by clicking on this save and send test request button and a test message will be delivered to this whatsapp number actually i have the access of this whatsapp number so i can show you how the message is going to look like so guys this is the whatsapp account you can see and now let me click on save and send test request here and let's see what happens and you can see this is the response we have received and you can see we have received a new message also in whatsapp let me show you so this is the message you can see we have received and the message is hello nitin adani thank you for filling out the form we'll be in touch shortly family team and in place of the body field or the variable we got the name placed and then form's name placed here automatically because we have mapped the data here in our workflow all right so guys we are done setting up this automation and uh, you can use the same workflow that I have created because I'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel